we are exactly two weeks in to the official release of wwe 2k24 and i was gonna do a 14 days after review but i put a poll up just to get your thoughts and you guys decided you guys wanted this video instead now let's go on ahead and talk about some updates that you guys want in this game i put out a video earlier last week talking about some updates that i wanted in the game but i went ahead and took some updates that you guys wanted and put it in the video let's go on ahead and get into it here wesley says what's up gang what's good my boy they definitely need to update some models and add the whoop that trick crowd chance we can only wish for better servers one day as well so yes they got to go on ahead and add that that's actually a big part of trick williams he has been so over there's crowds where they're going crazy with the chant and in nxt they go crazy with it too go on ahead and, and, and put booker t's commentary over that as well but listen man th that is something that it's a small detail that wasn't in there it just looks like trick williams they really didn't put that much time into him he came in with the same attire the theme song and the titan tron is basically what's different so hopefully it is fixed in the future that is something that seems like it's not too big of a problem if you are on pc you definitely can get around this with a youtube version of the whoop that trick with the chance in the back so if you're on pc you could definitely do that with mods and things like that but this right here i hope they fix it but i don't know man if, if they care enough to fix it so i don't know but that's definitely a nice little thing that we should get updated and this one came from coca jackie hey my boy if i mispronounce your name i am sorry I'd like to see the updated Raw and SmackDown 2024 arenas. I'd have to agree as well, my boy, I'm not going to lie. I think the arenas are very simple and they're actually very close to what it was before. It's just the banners and the barricades are a little bit different. I think it's definitely doable and they can definitely get that in the game as well. I'd really, really like to see that in the game and... I don't know maybe we do see it i mean we're getting the addition of wrestlemania 40 this year the raw and smackdown arenas unfortunately literally changed when the game came out so i don't know we may be with outdated arenas for the rest of the year but we do have community creations and you guys can check out the latest community spotlight video as that will be a series i did talk about the raw and smackdown arenas as well some custom ones that you guys can go on ahead and check out but yeah hopefully we do see some updated raw and smackdown 2024 arenas this year and this one came from Spencer. Carrion definitely needs an update. Santos needs an update too. His theme and Tron, not the LWO one he uses now. His theme was in 2K23. And if Pat's buddies just got scanned last Monday, there's no reason not to add Andrade and Naomi. Hey, Spencer, you want a lot, my boy. Now nah, I'm just playing with you. But listen, Carrion definitely needs an update. And I think my faction will go on ahead and take care of Carrion Cross. I just don't see them leaving him like that all year round. And with the summer coming up and us not really getting that much DLC content, I think that is going to be something that we do see uh, throughout the year. So I'm really, really excited to see what they do with my faction. And my faction is actually a little bit low on content this month. I don't know what's going on, but they got to start turning it on. So I don't know, man. But yeah, we'll definitely see that. And Santo needs an update too. Yeah, but community creations, we can definitely fix that. And so can Carrion, of course. But yes, I feel like we do need an update. But yeah, his theme song and his Tron, we definitely need that as well because he's stuck with the LWO. It just sucks, man, that every time we get these games, they're always somehow, some way outdated. So I really, really hope that we can get something fixed in the future. It's just really unfortunate. So hopefully we do get some stuff. But you do bring up a good point about Pat's buddies getting scanned. So we could see Naomi this year. I don't know about Andrade, but Naomi for sure. So I don't know. I hope we do get Naomi. And hopefully we do get some other characters as well with that. Because I'm really excited to see who they patch in for free. As that was teased before by Brian Williams. Shadow my only problem is the ref counting so slow i'll be able to count to like three to five by the time he counts to one i'll be honest guys i think this is the reason why my matches last an eternity because i noticed that when i'm playing against the computer my meter is already running and the ref still hasn't even counted to one so that's the only thing that makes sense to me when i look at that but yes i agree that needs to be fixed last year was slow this year is even slower and the worst part about it is is that it's inconsistent there's times where the referees will drop on their knees and start counting right away and then there's times where they will run around and then slide and then do this and hold their arm up i don't know man that really really needs a huge update for wwe 2k24 because that is probably one of the parts that is turning me off the most with this game when it comes to the referees and everything like that they just take forever it's super unrealistic and a referee is such an essential part of a wwe match or wrestling match in general so to see them not as reactive in 2024 
definitely stings when are they gonna update their servers bro they're not really good hey man i wish i could tell you but i do not work for the 2k team my brother but listen yes i do agree with you they definitely need some updated servers because these servers suck hopefully in the near future we see an update because we're really 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 struggling with this game and the servers it just looks like it's not on their priority list at all hopefully in the future we do see an update to those maybe next year when they go all the way to current gen and leave last gen in the past as i hope no offense to any of you guys who don't have a new console but it's time we're about halfway through this cycle and and we're still releasing games for the xbox one and ps4 the most annoying bug with universe mode so far is having one person having two or three matches on the same night yes it is a little glitchy universe mode i could go on and on about this mode managers switching to the other opponent there's just so much i can go on about me making my card backing out to go do something and coming back and there's 30 other matches that i didn't choose and everything just mixed up universe mode is a mess um, i'm having fun with it but at the expense of some bugs so i really really hope that that is looked into in the future because i really really want to like universe mode and i and i do but there's a lot of bugs and it's like there's no dynamic i have to continue creating my own storylines because when it comes to the computer making something cool for me it's just not there and i get it a lot of it is your own sandbox you do what you want but sometimes you just want to chill and play the game so I don't know. I'm looking forward to maybe some changes with stability and things like that in the future, in a, in a future patch. But I don't know. I guess I'll have to hold my breath for that one. One thing I am going to start getting into is superstar mode. And I might have a little series on that on how I get that started as well. And guys, one thing that I did notice was that Samantha, when you do a custom arena for Monday Night Raw on Universe Mode, she is not the ring announcer. I really, really hope that that is fixed because it's still the Raw show. And I get it that, you know, they have their ring announcers attached to each show. But I would love to be able to switch my custom arena and still have Samantha as the ring announcer. As she does a great job. I love what she adds to the game. But unfortunately, that's not a thing. And hopefully that is patched in a future patch where if you're still using Raw, but a different arena, she can still be the ring announcer. As that's one thing that has really been bothering me. I can't get Samantha in there. So I don't know. Hopefully we do see something updated for that. And another thing rope breaks rope breaks definitely have to be looked at guys and i know that there's a little option that you can turn off the setting but i don't even want to depend on that i want that to be fixed sometimes your legs won't be under the ropes and it'll still be called a rope break before you even get the leg lifted up and the referee will call it it looks like the referee has a lot of unnecessary issues this year as last year that really wasn't a thing so i'm hoping that in a future patch that is addressed as well and lastly guys custom entrances do not work for alternate attires so i'm really hoping that that is addressed as well because i tried to get the rock with somewhat of a new entrance and i tried to put it as an alternate attire and he was coming out with a completely different entrance it was just weird so i'm hoping that does get looked into guys but if you guys did enjoy this video if you guys want more of these videos where i talk about things that you guys want make sure to leave a comment down below with an update or feature that you want updated and we can go on ahead and talk about it put it on the big screen and let's get to it but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like comment subscribe i'm gonna catch you guys peace